in order to use the artistly and clone voice integration you need to follow this process step by step in order to get the bonuses that we discussed all right so the main thing i want to tell you is you have to come to this avatar icon and under there you'll see settings okay now when you come to the profile settings option scroll down you will see an option called api key okay now because you're just starting you have to create a new api key right now once the api key is provided what you have to do is go to artistly dashboard right now same thing under the profile right where will you find the profile same thing just go here artistly click on your avatar and then you will find the settings profile and you'll come here right now here what you gotta do you gotta basically copy the key from here and paste it here save the clone voice api key just like this okay so it's gonna successfully save your key now what's gonna happen is all the voices that you clone that you create that you design will be seamlessly integrated with artistly so that when you create storybooks or when you want to use videos oh sorry when you want to create storybooks with your voice they will appear here what you gotta do one additional things what we made what we did to make sure that you don't get overwhelmed with thousands of voices in the artistly dashboard is all the voices that you want to basically share right let's say for example i created this little girl for example right or i created this test or paul's voice or yash voice or whatever voices that we are seeing here right if you want to create or share basically these voices what you need to do is click on export voices okay click on each of these voices little girl yash or whatever voices how many voices you want to share and then what you have to do is you have to click on export selected okay and click on yes proceed what is going to happen okay very easy peasy process okay under the my voices tab you will see something called exported voices and here all the voices that you picked to export will appear and these are the only voices that will appear whether in artistly and even in video express if you if if we say so right it's a very important api uh, integration right so i want to repeat that again not all the voices that you clone or you create or you design will be there only the ones that will be there are the ones basically that you hit export you don't have to manually download them you don't have to do all that kind of stuff all you gotta do is click on three dots my voices export voices and pick your clone voices your design voices your all kinds of voices your public library voices and then so let's say i want paul i want little girl i want yash these three voices i click on export and done export and done selected voices are already in exported voices so that when we are going when we go to artistly dashboard okay when we go to artistly dashboard these are the only voices that will appear in their respective category i hope that makes sense i hope that is pretty clear okay now here comes the fun part okay now let me also create a music and show you how you can create the music storyboard okay and then we will completely go to the artistly dashboard and i'll show you how the flipbook process comes how will you get to your voices where will you see all these voices and all that fun part okay so again i'm gonna go to the create music i will pick the kids rhyme category i will say a rhyme about baker girl and a cat for example i will pick i will read and accept it all the terms and condition this will pick the line for me i will just you know name this baker girl and uh, and uh, cat whatever it is i will select it and then i will click on generate music right 
Now I've already created it for the time being. So I'll show you a farmer and a little girl and baker girl and a cat. And you know, I mean, you can create uh, rhymes of anything, right? Now let's come to the artistly part and let me show you how you can get these three things. Number one, how will you get your voices from clone voice to appear in artistly? Okay, where will they appear? How can you use them to narrate your storybooks as a flip book format? How you can share it, number one. Number two, then I'm gonna you show you how you can convert them into a video. That's one of the, if you have a successful clone voice key, that option will appear now. And number three, I will show you how will you take that rhymes, okay? And then actually kind of use it, right? Kind of use it uh, to create a step-by-step, scene-by-scene visual storyboard, okay? So as usual, you will go to personalized uh, design, personal designs and you'll go to Storybook Studio, okay? I'm gonna refresh my screen. And then in the Storybook Studio, you will see all your storybook created, okay? Now, when you click on create flipbook, select story, create the flipbook, under the select voices, you will now see an option of clone, design, and public library, okay? Now, this is the fun part, because if you remember, I've shared the Paul's voice here, Yash's voice here, or test voice, or whatever it is, it is appearing here. Even the voice that I've created, like a little girl, angry grandma, and stuff like that also now appears there. So you're not just limited to all these default options. You can now narrate your storybook, a personalized storybook, with the cloned part, okay? So now let me remind that. So if someone asks you that, hey, I want to create a personalized storybook for my child with my voice where I am narrating the storybook, what would you do? You go to clone voice, go to clone voice application, come on this clone voice section, click on choose instant, upload their voice file, put their name, put the language it is in, pick the gender, clone the voice, then go to my voices, click on export voices, pick that voice that you uploaded and click on export. We did it because to avoid all the confusion because down the line, you might have thousands of voices in your voice library, in your voices uh, tab, but you don't want to share all of them, right? To keep things simpler, you only want to share the best, you only want to deal with the best. So to avoid that overwhelming, to avoid that uh, uh, option of so many voices, we kind of did that approach, right? So now, once you have successfully exported, what, what will happen? is they will, uh, they will come under clone part. You can, uh, you can pick it. Let's say for example, I want to pick this little girl and then you will continue with your process of uploading a front cover, uploading a template. Let's say I'm gonna upload a template which I, I had already created, right? Because it's a Halloween special book I'm creating and you create generate flip book. You know how it will appear? Hear this out, I'll show you. Pretty cool. On a crisp October night, 12 year, Old Ethan and Ten Year, Old Lily were ready for Halloween. They loved their costumes, but they were most excited about the old Holloway house. Everyone whispered about the Holloway house. Its boarded up windows and sagging porch made it both frightening and alluring. Very, very powerful, right? So now you have the ability to convert your images or can basically into storybooks not just that but now you have the ability to narrate your storybooks with any voice you want your voice client's voice a user voice a parent's voice obviously subject to their approval you know and then any design voice now comes the fun part you can not just create these right so let's say i'm gonna for example okay i deleted by mistake oh sorry anyways so not just you can because these uh, these things right you can share them right you can share it with the public down the line what we are also thinking we will uh, give you an ability to embed these on your websites how powerful would that be right now let's talk about the second thing the second thing which is very very powerful 
all your flip books will have an option called convert to video subject to if you have if you got clone voice and if you have put the if you have added the clone voice api key successfully now you know what's going to happen you are going to get this functionality which will turn your uh storybook into a video format into mp4 format that you can publish on youtube you know with your voice cuz it is going to take the voice over narration that you have selected and it will take all your pages all your designs all your story text and create a proper uh you know a video so you don't have to record it manually you don't have to do all those you know integrations part and let me actually show you how that will appear it will appear something like this this was just a bare minimum uh, like quickly i created just to show you but this is a 3 minute right almost like a 4 minute long videos uh, you know quickly you can create those uh, talking books talking books right and this is a huge market for it right think about all this new ideas new possibilities you can you can do it um you know, for like any specific thing that is viral or seasonal or festival holiday based and then you know any story that you can now think of you can not just create a paperback book and another thing right you might want to actually promote your paperback book using uh, that you uploaded on kdp you can use these as a marketing videos where you can say that this is just a part of the book this is a glimpse of the book this is a trailer of the book and the entire book is uh, ready for you to purchase you know you can actually create you can um, market the series right like you can say hey, this is the chapter 1 i'm giving it to you but for more chapters you can purchase these series and you can link to your so link to your kdp uh book uh kdp uh, link right so many opportunities that uh, it unlocks and you can like i don't even need to explain the importance uh, how how much powerful this is you probably started you know uh thinking and uh, started seeing yourself using this right so let me know in the comment sections if that is true right so let me know what you think about this now here comes the third part okay which is Now we got this uh, farmer and a little girl. Let's say example, right? A baker girl or whatever it is, right? How will you basically take a MP3 rhyme, okay, a kid's rhyme, and create a step by step, scene by scene, consistent character visual storyboard that you can bring it to, um, you know, Video Express or whatever it is. or just you know let alone an artist you can create a song flip book or a song video right because the main thing is is yeah you got this mp3 audio a kids rhyme but you want to convert it into a video right you wanted to publish it on youtube it's the best way it's nothing like this in the market right now right so you come to design agents and again how will it appear it will not appear for all the people it will only appear for the people who has clone voice and who successfully added the clone voice a valid pub valid successful implementation or addition of a clone voice api key very very important otherwise it won't work or otherwise it won't show just wanted to let you know right so that's the one thing so now what you have to do uh now what you have to do let me just show you is basically come to nursery rhymes option okay now i'm going to take that i'm going to come here drop it in so just drop that kids rhyme that you got from clone voice right how will you create it easy peasy you go to create music kids rhyme ai generated say a rhyme about whatever it is just like i say a rhyme about my son charlie and he and his friend jason i mean anything right i mean you can think of anything right and you can have like very very powerful right so all right two good friends pretty pretty powerful right and then you can create put it, give it a name and download it now let's say it is uploaded now what you can do you have to select the dimension that you want your storyboard right storyboard to be in 
16 by 9, 3 is to 2, 4 is to 5, whatever it is, right? So let's say it is 16 by 9 because I want to do, let's say, you know, I want it on YouTube and stuff like that and hit generate images. You know what's going to happen? Something like this is going to happen. Let me show you. Yeah. Let me just get rid of this. I'll show you very, very powerful, right? So just like these, look at this, just like this is what I created using uh, kids, uh, kids lyrics, right? Just like it's a baker girl and a cat, right? Look at that how powerful it is right scene by scene like these are like crazy right like think about this 30 scenes right 30 scenes entire kids rhyme entire kids rhyme with character consistency scene by scene integrated developed for you so you don't have to do it manually you know think about the prompt just one click easy peasy okay and now you can convert these uh you know if it's music you can export it convert it to a video and stuff like that i mean that is the power how powerful that is let me know in the comment section guys right so these are the two things okay these are the three things sorry i said wrong three things very very important i showed you today how you can actually add grab the api key from clone voice add it in artistly two transfer all your favorite voices to artistly to be able to use them to create a read aloud narration for your storybooks first part second part i discussed with you is how you can convert any of your flipbook into a video in an into an mp4 format so that you can publish it on youtube third thing with not just storybooks, you can also create a visual storyboard of uh, uh, jingles and kids rhymes that you created using Clone Voice. Come here, create a visual scene by scene, step by step, scene by scene, you know, visuals that you, that you can use for videos. How powerful is that?